Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful Wednesday, the 22nd of June, 2022. Some teenagers in the bush over there. What are they doing? Anyway, we begin with Christ Church Moss Side. Today, we're going to have a look around Moss Side. We'll begin with Christ Church here in Moss Side, as you can see. Not to be confused with Moorside or Mossfield. This is the famous Manchester Moss Side, which used to be a bit stabby and gunny, a bit shooty back in the day. We're here to see if it still is. And to start off a bit esoteric, a bit spiritual, let's just say that Jesus did not spend his time on the street corner shouting at people, talking about a holy book, trying to convince them of this or that. He just went ahead and did it himself. What a chad. What an alpha. What a decent guy. Not a follower. He was a leader. So emulate Jesus. Don't emulate those who say they speak for Jesus. Next to Christchurch. You've got the Sikh temple, and as they say, seek and you shall find, and I found it. Oh my, it's focusing on the leaves and not the plaque behind. Can I fix it? There you go. To show off a bit of my knowledge in Sikhism, Guru Nanak Devji. Guru Nanak Devji said, Sab go bindahe, sab go bindahe. All is God, there is nothing but God. There you go. And guess what is the next building after? So you've got church. Sikh temple and more church. My God, what is wrong with Mossfield? Do they need some sort of, I don't know, penance? Are they sinners? Is that why there's so many churches? I can see another, there's another one. Must be sinners. Guys, we begin on Moss Lane East. This here is Moss Lane East. This is the corner of uh, Moss Side. We begin underneath the <laughs> armored by spike protected megaphoned CCTV camera. Some of my older viewers will remember in the late 90s, early 2000s, they thought it was a good idea to have cameras with megaphones attached so that council workers could bark orders at you. Not 1984, a brave new world at all. They thought it was fine. I'm sure she would think it's fine. It's having a great time. Well, there's the Hilton Hotel at the back of Dean's Gate. And we're still in... So, a few things about Moss Side. Moss Side is a suburb in the south side of central Manchester, very close to Whitworth Park. Whit Whitworth, whipped cream, Whitworth Park and the University of Manchester central buildings. Now, Moss Side, as I say, in the 90s and early 2000s was famous for giving Manchester the moniker Gunchester. As I said earlier, it was very stabby and shooty around here. Now, not so much. So I told one of my media friends, I said, hey, I am filming in Moss Side today. Do you want to come and join me? And he goes, yeah, I will until four o'clock. It's safe until four o'clock. Now, um, I hate to be pessimistic, but four o'clock is when everyone's out of school. Is it that bad? I don't know. Oh, so what was I saying? So the communities that settled here post-World War II were mostly West Indian. And now by West Indian, I don't mean Pakistan or Afghanistan. I'm talking about the West Indies. It's a convoluted long story. The European explorers, when they got to the Caribbean, they're like, hey, we've sailed all the way around the world. We are in India. They thought they had made a passage to India. In fact, they'd made a passage to the Caribbean and to Florida. So this is why the Native Americans were called Indians. And this is why the many parts, well, sorry, a part of the Caribbean is called the West Indies. So a lot of those immigrants came to settle around here. There's a nice flower thing here. Gotta love the British and their love of gardening and flowers and opium, opium. Gotta love it. So, there you go. We're next to uh, one of the parks. I believe that is a school. We are looking back at the back of a the school. There's the modern extension over there. Now, so much West Indies in my brain, I pass a barrel painted yellow and it makes me think of kettle drums or steel drums. So, you know, the ding, 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 ding. I've actually listened to those live in the actual Caribbean. That's how authentic my experience was. But uh, we'll keep our ear out for some, um, what's the word? It's a musical drums, kettle drums. You know what I mean. Jamaican flag, Jamaican flag. Gotta love a country that puts black on its flag. Famous countries with black in their flag include Estonia. Can't think of any others. Uh, Estonia. Yep, we're in a park and uh, the graffiti here made me laugh. Obviously, Moss Side, Community Park. Children with their baseball caps turned to the side. Good American kids. 
and the graffiti is by Bronson. So you've got Moss Side by Bronson. And you're like, what is that? It's graffiti. Look, dog control orders by Bronson. Charles Bronson or, I don't know, Bronson. Is Bronson a first name? Could be. Reminds me of Winston. Winston's a good uh, first name, isn't it? All right, South Manchester is a lot of streets that look identical to this one. We'll do a zoom in. Look at that, look at the uniformity. We've even got a pale blue car on either side, just to give it that extra synchronous left and right symmetry. Let's zoom out. Boom. Cleans all the streets, takes all the bottles and cans up all over. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with a, a madam who is resident here in uh, Moss Side. How are you? Over 50 odd years. Here 50 now. odd years. And look, she's collecting rubbish. She is a wholesome I'm granny. Look at this. I'm the only one left now in there. Are the only one. So, madam, what's it like living in Moss Side and how has it changed over 50 years? Oh, it's, it, it's gone too quiet. I don't like it. Yeah, we walked past and you said good morning and then you said to me, it's dead around here. What do you mean? Is it like zombie land? Yeah, what do you mean? It's very quiet. Why but is it so quiet? Even on a nice day, you never see the kids out in the backyard. Since that virus, I hope the quicker died, maybe we get back to me. Do you think people are maybe dying too much and that's why the streets are quiet? I always expect to see a few funerals over here because I never see anyone coming out the doors. They've all got cars. That's very <laughs> oh, true. Oh, by the way, I'm in my 80s. You're in your 80s. You look fantastic. I, I would have said you're 69. I walk everywhere. You do. And what's your first name, madam? Hilda. Hilda. My name's yeah. Charlie Veach. Thank you very Charlie. much. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm 82 and I always tell everyone since uh, Prince Harry's coming up to see me, take me to look. He shares a birthday with me, Prince Harry. Does he? Yeah, September 15th, yeah. Yeah, well, while we're on the subject of Prince Harry, what do you think of that whole Harry Meghan uh, America I, thing? I think I think it's awful. They should wait. He wants to live a, a normal life and yeah. away from the royal family. He's never going to be king. Yeah. They should let him live normally. He wants to live normally yeah. just because he married for half that Yeah. Girl. It's all wrong. Oh, by the way, you forced got me and I forgot to put my teeth in. Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> teeth, you know. It. Oh, and I, I picked him out at night in case, because uh, I bought oh, well, a long time ago. Uh, I had the set in, slept overnight. Yeah. And when I, the bottom ones were halfway down my throat and I had, I threw them. <laughs> I never wore them soon. I threw them away and I just take out the top ones and I, so I forgot to put them in. My goodness. So, Hilda, if yeah. I may, are you Irish from the Republic of Ireland? Well, uh, let's say I was brought up in Cork City, but I'm a Blackpoolian. I was ah, born in Blackpool. So you're a Blackpoolian, but brought up so in Cork. Uh, so pure Blackpool. So you're... Yeah. I don't know if I was born in a clinic or a hospital there. Yeah. But my mother, in them days, you couldn't have the baby out of red. I see. No, that's true. But today you're safe enough to have the baby out of lock. Oh, nowadays the government encourages people to have as many babies out of wedlock yeah, as they can. She was married. I see. So she had to come away, come back here to England to have Fair me, enough. and she had me here. So, can I just ask, what was Ireland like just after they gained independence from Britain? I haven't a clue. I you were there. You were in Cork in the forties, fifties. Uh, yeah, but I, I was brought up. You know, I loved it. I loved it in Cork City. It's a nice city. You know, lovely. I miss it all. You know, in some ways. You know. Well, Hilda, I'll tell you the good news. Our chat will be immortalized forever. What's and immortalized? It's gonna, st it's gonna be eternal. Our chat. You know, I'm gonna post it online. I'm not and very good at education, you see, because I only started to le learn to read and write. Oh, twenty oh, yeah? odd years ago, I had to go. To, I couldn't read and write. Twenty odd years ago, you learned how to read and write. Yeah, but I'm amazing. Still, I'm still learning now, and I'm doing word search, which I'm very good at. It. Words. I've heard Quite of word search. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I do a lot of that. It takes me hours, but I get it done, and it's keeping me going. Good morning. Sir. Absolutely bless yeah. you, Hilda. Oh, yeah. Doing an interview with Hilda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. No, she's no, no. a good uh, woman because every time I will see her, she pick up all the rubbish. Yeah, she's there. picking up a bottle now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What a what a lovely, lovely lady. Thank you, sir. No, all the Jamaicans in and around the area, they all know me. They, oh yeah. They, I wish to come back and shake up the streets because we used to have street parties to be outside with table. And I love them. I miss I miss them there. But I'm looking forward to August because they're having the big parade and the big Thing over in Alexander oh, yeah. Park, you need to get over. Oh, there. I will. Yeah, I love and, a street party. And you'll, see, you'll see me dancing in front of the street. I dance there all day till about ten, nine or ten at night. I'm oh yeah, there all day. I love it. That's amazing, I, Hilda. Yeah, I miss it. I, I like 
you know, they should leave the beach day because they might be chicken the bucket next day. They may as well enjoy You've it. You've got to enjoy what time we've got left, haven't yeah. you? I love your spirit. I love your optimism and your humility. And Hilda, my viewers, hopefully 50,000 of them, <laughs> leave a nice comment for Hilda. And oh, God bless you, God. madam. All the best to you. My children are going to be embarrassing me, I'm telling you. They, oh, they'll love it. How old, how old are your kids? Uh, oh, do you know what? My, my memory's getting a little bit... Oh, no, just give me a round about the 40s, yeah. 50s. Uh, my son was born... Uh, my eldest born was 68. 68. 12 yeah. years older than me. Yeah. Oh, uh, my youngest was the 8th... Oh, no. That was... John was the 25th of October. Mm -hmm. uh, 70. Yeah. And my youngest one was born 72. Oh, fantastic. February 72. And have you got thousands of grandchildren and great grandchildren thousands you must be joking how many have you got 10 and, or so uh, 10 no, grandkids I've only got 4 or 5 and one great great grandchild one great 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 one great grandchild that's it's excellent Faith which is a lovely name if you're religious I like the name Faith well Hilda it's been an absolute pleasure go on what are you going to tell me these bloody roads have all closed off a lot of people have oh they have I'm going to go and investigate the road closures they're putting down there uh, piping uh, blue uh, new type oh gas plastic. and sewers or and that sort of stuff yeah that's yeah. what they're doing yeah Thank you, Hilda. Right. Thank you very much. Right. Lovely speaking to Hilda. We approach Beresford Street and you've got an old advert for the Radio Times. Two pence every Friday. Let me get you a bit more two pence every Friday. And uh, it's nice chatting to my Scottish granddad. Never met my Brazilian granddad. Very sad. He divorced my grandmother and went and started a new franchise with loads of other kids. Never met my Brazilian granddad. Damn. Anyway. My Scottish granddad was a lovely gentleman called Andrew Veach, born in 1912. And uh, my grand... Oh, here we go. The Independent Order of Mechanics of the Western Hemisphere. What a cool name. Are they Freemasons? I don't know. Looks like Freemasons. So my granddad told me that when he was a boy, you know, the, the radio was rationed to about two hours a day. They used to put on their Sunday best, all sit around what he called the wireless... If only he knew that 100 years in the future we'd have Wi-Fi. So my granddad would put on his Sunday best, listen to the King's speech, <laughs> sit, sat around the wireless, which is what old people in the UK used to call the radio, and happy days. And my poor grandfather, he passed away six months after my Scottish grandmother. He remained fiercely independent, never went into a care home, uh, refused to go into a care home. Not that he needed to. And... Uh, he passed away, he died of a broken heart of loneliness because his wife passed away six months before him. And uh, yeah, this isn't a sad video. Let's make it happy again. This is some main road. This is going towards Stockport and all that shit. South. South. Moss side continues. This is one of the main roads. I know I've just filmed down it, but I want to give you a slight, uh, a slight walk along and a slight look. We've got Sudanese House Cafe some uh, Ethiopian Eritrean tailoring with an amazing font language. Look at that script. Look at that. Amazing. So we return to one time zoom. You've got the Red Sea Cafe, Princess Butchery, Halal, Blue Nile Barbershop, Peace and Love, Barbers and Cosmetics. Great name for a barbershop. Blue Nile, Baraka, Manchester Refugee Support Network, Osman Telecom, and to wrap up this particular section, we've got Jindu Chinese Takeaway. These apartments across the road, sorry, these houses. Now, again, Normandy Nazi defenses against invading American troops. Look, little machine gun slits on the side of that defense system. Richie and Nicky Liquor Store and Mini Mart. As the joke goes, it's liquor in the front and you can play poker in the rear. Hardy, hardy, har, har. There you go. Now, the reason I'm continuing, 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 is uh, there's an abandoned showcase cinema. Do you want to see if it's still there? Okay, just along the main road here is the entrance to Alexandra Palace. Now, I'll hold my hands up. Ashamed to say, I have never hung out or done a video for my darling viewers in Alexandra Palace. I'll have a quick look at the gates. There you go. And we'll have a quick look at this house. It's called Charlton Lodge. Open today. Charlton Lodge. Oh, wow. It's got a little clock tower. First of all, let's... Ooh. 
Okay, well there you go, there's there's Alexandra Park. Ooh, look at that. Laid out back in the good old days, deep in the Victorian era. And check out the little clock tower atop Charlton Lodge. Look at that. What an amazing little house. Hello. Hello. Can a curious young traveller, sorry, not so young, I'm going bald, but can a curious traveller go in and have a look? That's what we're here for. Thank you so much. Look at that. Let's do it live, all in one take. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Here we go. We are in. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's lovely. Let's go full wide angle. There we go. It's very, very nice. So, it was uh, built in 1869. And of course, some decent, prominent family used to live here. And uh, yeah, these are, these are real cacti. Check out the... Very similar to Ali Pali in London, Alexandra Palace style Victorian gardens that they, ha they had. Amazing. Staff only, we won't go, oh look at that. A computer hidden in the mirror. I like it, it better not be copyrighted music. Is there an upstairs I should check out, or no? This is this yeah. Okay, okay it's just... so it goes around in a circle. Yeah. Um, from part and have you got here. some awesome sound bites of, as to like who lived here when they built it, stuff like that? On that notice board, just back around here, that says who lived here from when it opened all the way and just a little bit beyond the Great Wall. Lovely. So that's got all there, including the ghost. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, there's a ghost. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> then there's the storyboards on the wall giving the brief history of the park. Oh, yeah. And there's the model of the cactus house that used to be here. Oh, the hence the cacti. Ah, Hen oh, amazing yes. context. Yes. And that's an old police truncheon. And the park manager's truncheon. I love how park <laughs> managers... See that, ladies and gentlemen? The good old days, the park manager would hit the ruffians. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at this mural on Hartington Street. It says HBHM, healthy body, healthy mind. We have a white dove. We've got children playing. We have a man with angel wings and some other images. On the white dove, we have the words community, aspiration, well-being, hope. Okay, we'll have a look at the front of the Claremont, seeing as this mural is on the side of the Claremont. Joseph Holt seems to be the biggest uh, pub landlord and, and brewery. Holt beers, Joseph Holt. Anyway, check out the, the Claremont. It's probably not changed in 50, 60, 70 years. And there you go. Still an open pub. Let's see what the banners say around here. Hype and Bosi, Chenille. Featuring live on stage from Jamaica. 2-3, 23, unofficial. Saturday the 30th of July, you've got this young man. Plus special guest, Jesse the DJ, DJ Atac, DJ Ontone. And here they are. Again, probably Jamaican, Caribbean influence. What do I know? Oh my goodness. Beresford Street comes all the way around. What the hell? Now, the hottest DJ in Moss Side, the absolute newest, most neo, most brand new, most opposite of old, MC, you've got MC Fresh with some sick beats. Yeah, I do actually want to laugh till I fart. Straight ahead we have Little Hamza's Nursery. Little Hamza. I'm sure he's cute. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, viewers. This is a 5G tower. 5G communications, fifth generation wireless radio communications for mobile phones. Am I right or am I wrong? But look where it is. It's literally on top of the school. Is that, is that kosher? Is that kosher having that on top of the school? I don't know. 
probably perfectly safe, but you know, gotta wind people up a bit. I'm joking, but I wouldn't want that above my kid's school. I don't know. Just like I wouldn't buy a house underneath electricity pylons. I just wouldn't. Here's a Fiat on top of a truck. There you go. All right, this corner here, Great Western Street and Upper Lloyd Street. This sign makes me laugh. Landlord furniture. So basically, buy the furniture for your shitty tenants. Stuff that you wouldn't sleep on yourself, but for fucking tenants, it's fine. It's landlord furniture. We're back where we started. At these big Georgian Victorian houses on the corner of all the churches. Great Western Street and Moss Lane East. Do a little zoom in to the 1984 Orwellian system and we'll go and find something else. Everything fades, even people's loving memory of you will fade. Just came across this uh, unoccupied office development, but what took me, what took my breath away was just how green the, the outside of it is. Now, there's a message here for all of us. Let's stop chopping down those trees. Let's make every area a leafy area. Look how much cooler it is. It's so much better. The Ducci Arms. Okay, Manchester University. Gorgeous in the sunshine. Oh, bless you, whoever. Oh, bless you, madam. Having a good sneeze behind me. So I've never entered the campus from the rear. I'm a big fan of entries from the rear. But uh, I've never done this one, and so far so good. I'll imagine some of the passageways will be a bit tight. Um, there might be a bit of friction, but I will use my tongue. My linguistical skills will be the lubrication I need for an effective and peaceful entry to the rear. This is nice. This is very nice. Anyone else getting American Ivy League? vibes Ooh la la <laughs> Hear the birds tweeting The trees are lush I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to end this on two very classical buildings. So bear with this section for another 30 seconds viewer. And then we'll get some more variety. On the daily Charlie Veach variety show. Okay, the first one I'll show you is the Samuel Alexander building. Faculty of Arts, look at that. It's like the set of uh, Back to the Future in Universal Studios. And we come round and I'll show you the Neo-Gothic main University of Manchester, main faculty buildings. I say Neo-Gothic because uh, even though it was built around 1820, it's not the original 1500, 1600 Gothic. It's done in the style of original Gothic. Well, we filmed in there before. There's the giant rock at the end. Big rock, big California raisin, and we are done. Manchester Metropolitan University open day. And check out how close, Oxford Street, Check out how close the A57 motorway is to the university campuses. There it is. That is great. Obviously it's the DreamWorks turned into a smoker and he's not worried. Alrighty then, I'm gonna wrap it up here. This is enough videoage, enough content for this section. There's the Kimpton Clock Tower Hotel. Five stars. Mwah. Now, I've been in Manchester for exactly 10 months. Sorry, 10 years and two months. And in this decade, I've seen Manchester mature and blossom from a, a tulip bud being a regional capital into a big player, a global city. In the last 10 years, it's really mushroomed. 
and uh, it's for the last 10 years also been the fastest growing city in the UK. We've lost London to the billionaire Arabs and the billionaire Russians and the other assorted billionaires. Nothing against billionaires, but if you want real England, if you want the Wild West, if you want sunshine, if you want to see the Charlie Beach sets live, fuck Coronation Street, fuck all those soap operas, come to central Manchester. I'll give you a tour. Charlie, over and out.